Pio Cesare Barolo, 2007. Um, Pio Cesare is one of these very, very old Barolo producers, founded back in uh, the late 1800s, you know, family owned now for generations. Um, they have some very uh, excellent vineyard holdings. Uh, the Ornato Vineyard, of course, is their, their famous sort of signature wine. Um, but every vintage, they just make a really just classic straight Barolo. And in the 07 vintage, um, it really shows just beautifully. You know, they source the grapes from their, their own vineyards primarily, and then they have uh, growers that they've been sourcing from for generations. <laughs> so they know these grapes. They know everything that they're going to get from these suppliers. And they put together a, a blend of all these different uh, micro terroirs, if you will, in, uh, in Barolo. They age the wine in uh, oak barrels, but primarily in the large oak barrels uh, for three years. They do do some um, small oak barrel aging, the bariques, they call them. Um, about 30% of the wine gets barrique aged. Um, you know, which is not, not uncommon now in Barolo for uh, some of the growers to do a, a little bit of barrique aging, give the wine just that, just that added uh, complexity, that other, that next dimension, so. Huh. Well, it's got a really nice, um, sweet, I get a little bit of um, strawberry, and then I get a little bit of uh, like tobacco, and I get um, some really pretty uh, sort of cedary, uh, woodsy aromas. And now I'm getting more of the sweet aromas, like strawberry cherry. Now I'm getting like a little bit of iron. <laughs> Let's keep swirling, see what else comes up. <laughs> mm. A little hint of um, some licorice. Some, uh, yeah, black cherry. I'm going to taste now. Um, this is a really pretty wine <laughs> for a Barolo. Um, you know, Barolos can be really um, big and forbidding. This one actually shows a nice structure, but it's got some really pretty fruit on top that's those sort of strawberry cherry notes. Um, hints of vanilla on the mid palate, and then there's sort of that under, undercurrent of, of like earthy iron nuance <clears throat> that just really plays off of the fruit just very nicely. Um, it's all uh, put together very in, in a way that, that, that seems elegant on the palate, which is um, very appealing. Um, it's young, you know, Barolos typically can age for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. Um, but this is a wine that really shows very pretty fruit right now. And it shows that it's a wine that's really going to hold together and develop beautifully over, you know, the next decade or so. Enjoy. <laughs>